Alright guys, uh, so here we are, uh, we're gonna go ahead and run through uh, the build here, run through everything that we got. Uh, so obviously this is, um, this build has been around for a minute, uh, or this, uh, this type of build. I, I don't, I, okay, I know I made a build kind of like this that involved the Brainstormer and a little bit of the Recursion back in December. But I don't, it didn't highlight the Recursion as much. So real quick, I want to say that um, obviously uh, the main weapon is going to be the Recursion. Um, honestly, your third slot can be whatever you want. Uh, I was constantly switching between a Cutsman, an Ion Laser. Um, I was even using a Butcher. Where's my Butcher that I have in here? Yeah, I was using this Butcher a lot, uh, setting it out. But you're definitely going to want to have... Ooh, and I, I, tr eh, I tried using the Wedding Invitation. Um, it's it, I mean, wedding invitations are a really good sniper overall, but I mean, what, the main weapon that you're gonna want to have is a brainstormer and uh, a projectile recursion. Another thing that I should go ahead and mention, um, this build does chew through shotgun ammo really fast. Obviously, since your primary weapons are gonna be two shotguns, so uh, definitely running a a cup purse artifact along with a face punch or shotgun. Uh, at least having it in your backpack will be nice to uh, regen some ammo if you are in a pickle. Uh, a bit of a pickle which I found myself uh, whenever I was running through the raid uh, so just gonna point that out in case you want to uh, just make sure you always have ammo and you're never like looking around trying to find ammo because that's no fun uh, so yeah uh, also uh, another good gun here to run is gonna be a carrier um, I like the carrier I made two videos now talking about the carrier uh, the carrier is a very underappreciated weapon at least in my opinion uh, especially the one I have here this anointment is awesome so I really uh, I really like using the carrier it's really a solid assault rifle it's nice to have a kinetic uh, weapon in here for like sometimes certain enemies that like to be turds and be immune to shock damage or and or corrosive or sometimes even incinerary or sometimes all of the above uh, or not all not not any no one enemy is going to have be immune to every single element I, I just like to run at least a kinetic weapon just just so because you can't be immune to kinetic you know what i'm saying so that's why i do run a kinetic weapon and the carrier works great in that slot for me uh obviously the most important uh shield is going to be a transformer uh you're going to be applying shock damage to yourself a lot so having this not kill yourself is going to be very very handy so yeah um if you the best um, anointment you could have is giving yourself extra shock damage uh, with your transformer that would be the preferred type of uh, <laughs> that'd be the preferred uh, anointment you could get on it i don't have a transformer with any asd like that so i'm just running this one where i get five percent max health per second for a short time so i uh, just keep a little bit of extra sustainability and obviously regarding when using a spiritual driver uh, this is very important uh the more the faster you move the more gun damage you do uh my mine is rolled pretty pretty terribly um, literally no boost to any of our shotguns or any of our weapons just our magazine size and our grenade capacity but that's uh, and splash damage which is completely useless uh, but yeah I definitely at least have a spiritual driver as your class mod um, and then an elemental projector since you are going to be applying yourself with electric uh, or shock my bad uh, you're going to be getting yourself a solid 90% damage boost uh, to your shock damage whenever you do apply that to yourself and then an ASC uh, preferably when it gives you uh, so Real quick to note, I'm pretty sure that you can't um, have two ASCs of the same and give it 50, like give that, uh, like let's say this was, let's say this was 50% shock damage. Um, I don't think that I would give myself 100% uh, extra shock damage from those. I don't think it works like that. I don't think they stack like that. I think you have to have different elements. Uh, so it, your grenade, honestly, could just be enough, any other ASC uh, that gives you some, you know, radiation, anything. At least uh, have one of these two give yourself uh, shock damage on action skill and and then we're going to go ahead and move over to the actual build here. <coughs> okay, so here we are. We're going to, uh, we're in the Fist of Elements tree here. We're going to go into 3 to 3 out of Steady Hands, 5 out of 5 into Anima, 5 out of 5 into Tempest. Obviously, we want that extra shock damage and elemental damage. 50%, that's solid. Can't go unnoticed. Uh, then we have uh, 2 out of 5 into Wildfire. Um, it has a uh, status effect, has a chance to spread to nearby enemies uh, with the constant ricochet, that will be awesome. And then we have Dread, uh, Mars gun damage is increased for a few seconds after an enemy is grasped. Obviously, this is very, very useful. Uh, Deep Well, Amar gains, oh, my bad, uh, increased uh, magazine size with elemental weapons. Also very useful because most of the weapons that we're going to be using are elemental, except for our carrier or, or your kinetic weapon of choice. And then we are going to be using industry. Ooh, excuse me guys we are going to be using indiscriminate for that insane extra ricochet uh, obviously with the recursion that just makes the recursion just that much more uh ricochet or i think that ricochet that's not a word just that much more deadly with the extra ricochet and then we are going to be putting three out of five and just assignment for some extra lifesteal uh with our elemental damage weapons which is pretty nice 12 percent uh ooh, my bad 
Then we are going to be uh, putting our forceful expression in there. You know, we want bonus elemental damage across the board, so that's obviously useful. And then we are going to be putting 2 out of 5 into Conflux whenever Mara applies a status effect to an enemy. She gains a chance to randomly electrocute, ignite, or melt that enemy. Solid uh, all around. And then, uh, we're going to, obviously, we are going to be speaking to Phase Grass because it's really easy to apply uh, the status effects to yourself with no cooldown. Very easy. Very useful as well. Um, then we'll uh, put in ties that bind and then allure. Um, also, if you want to, um, let's say you are using a fire weapon to go burn a boss, like a wedding invitation, for instance, what you could do, you could uh, throw on your incinerary. So now you'd be applying incinerary damage to yourself. So you'd be doing 90% of incinerary damage to your wedding invitation, which once again, the wedding invitation does incinerary damage in uh, like ricochet's cryo which is really unique and then if you just i don't know if people know how to do this so i'm just gonna go ahead and say that if you want to change it back to shock you just press triangle and then you just come over here and then unequip it and boom you're back to shock and boom so yeah so now we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh yeah we're done here and then we're just gonna go ahead and check on this what are you doing, what are you doing? we're done <laughs> so now we apply shock to ourselves and now we're uh, chilling so uh, we're just putting the Violent Tapestry for the uh, the Rush deck over here in the Mystical Assault Tree. And then over here, oh, we just took over that. So here's the Brawl Tree that we're going to be specking into. So right off the rip, we got 5 out of 5 in Clarity. Um, my class mod does give me 1, so i only put in 4 if your class mod doesn't spec into it. Uh, I would recommend maxing out, uh, maxing out Help Enhance for just, just that uh, damage reduction. It's very, very strong and very useful to keep you alive at all times. And then you are going to be putting three to three in a personal space. Uh, so if you're, I mean, you're moving really fast and you're close, you're going to be getting a lot of damage buffs, especially uh, with your recursion. This thing uh, can't go unnoticed. This thing's, uh, this perk is pretty solid for what it can do. And then we are going to be running Root to Rise. Amara gains increased max health. Uh, I just like to have a little bit of extra health just to, you know, keep us alive. Extra sustainability is never a bad thing. Arms deal, uh, reduced splash damage for uh, pesky um, explosions and, like, high-end content like Slaughter Shaft and the Raid. Then we are going to be running, uh, putting as much as you can into Mindfulness. I have 5 out of 3, 2 from my class mod. Thank you, Pierce Driver. You're awesome. Oh, and uh, we also getting uh, to points and helping hands from our class mod so uh, yeah just throwing that out there uh, but going into mindfulness uh, whenever amara takes damage she gains a stack of mindfulness for every stack of mindfulness amara gains improved shield regeneration and movement speed that's why we max out mindfulness because the faster we move the more gun damage we do uh more faster we move closer we are the more ricochet we're gonna be doing through recursion the more insanity stuff you're gonna be putting out you should be dumping out damage left and right it's gonna be disgusting uh and then we have one with nature four out of five Increased max health, elemental resist, uh, and element damage resistance to our active skill element. Uh, I, that's, that's a little bit on the uh, uh, useless side since we're going to be uh, mostly using shock and a transformer. And the transformer grants immunity to shock anyways. But, you know, if you are, you know, putting on incinerary damage um, for a quick second, that totally helps out uh, with... Uh, with that so you won't be you know burning yourself to a crisp so, uh, so we are gonna be putting fortify the nature for that solid uh <laughs> for that solid max health i just like to run uh, a little bit of extra max health anything we can regen some health and have some max health increases in my opinion i like to have that for this for the sustainability and then boom we got guardian angels uh to uh pull us back up it's a two minute cooldown but you know it's still pretty solid and then yeah that should just about wrap up everything i went over went over the grenade the shield and artifact the weapons and the everything in there and yeah uh that's gonna just about wrap up the video guys hope you guys did enjoy the video if you guys did enjoy the video then go ahead and drop your load on that like button and subscribe if you are new also while you're at it go ahead and hit that bell down there a little bit of a love tap for me i really appreciate it uh, guys, we also did recently open up the merch store, Kree's Marketplace. First thing at the top of the description, along with our Discord. Um, yeah. With that being said, though, guys, my name's Kree, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out, guys.